Yeah, I think it was just uh, I realized after a little bit of time, feeling bad for myself or sorry for myself that hey man, at the end of the day, it's it's up to you, right? You got you got to show them. So I got over that, and it was like either you you use it or it uses you. So I let it use me for a little bit, and I'm like, no, what I'm going to use this as fuel, and I'm going to go shove it. You know, what I mean, I'm going to go, I'm going to show them that I belong there, and um, the coach. I thought this clip was appropriate for the time of year in particular, but it's useful at any time. And by the time of year, I mean a lot of us are going through tryouts right now, a, tri a tryout process. Uh, kids are getting cut from junior teams and WHL teams and soon pro teams. Uh, minor hockey tryouts are going on. And the story that was just talked about there was Glenn Metropolit talking about the occasion where he made the Washington Capitals out of training camp, made the opening night roster, played one game, and got sent down to the minors after that game. And he was talking about feeling sorry for himself, feeling like he was a victim, feeling like he got something that he didn't deserve. And then he realized that this is my choice. And either this, <laughs> either it uses me or I use it. And I think that's an amazing way to look at it. We have a choice. You have to remember that this is a choice. Whatever that thing is, you got cut, you got let go, you, told, told, you were told you weren't good enough, that can mean one of two things. That somebody got it wrong, that you're the victim, that you should feel sorry for yourself, or it can tell you that I'm going to prove everyone, that I deserve to be where I think I should be, or I'm going to prove that I'm going to be the best player at this level, that I'm going to improve, that I'm going to work harder than anybody else. That message... Whatever that message that you got is, is up to you to what that meaning is going to be. And you can use it as fuel or you can use it as a reason to feel sorry for yourself, to play the blame game, to be a victim. So remember, it is always on you. And in those moments, the quicker we can close the gap, as I talk about in my Peak Potential program with my players, the quicker we can close the gap on identifying how we can use this for us, that this is happening for us, not to us, the better you're going to be. The quicker you can align with your goal and your dream of being the player that you want to be, the less time we can spend with our head between our legs feeling sorry for ourselves and the more time we can be deliberate and intentional and committed and passionate about what we want, the quicker we're going to get there. So a lesson from Glenn Metropolit, if you got some bad news or if you're going through a bad time, it's on you. It's the, it's the meaning you give it. Either you use it or it uses you. So why don't you use it? Play hard. Keep your head up.